collagen. Um, Feed it through, and you can see. Perfect. Can you give me the um, the needle? Hold on, before you cut, give me the needle. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Let's do one more, then we can do it turn this way. a little pinch if you do you let me know should be fine are you okay mm -hmm. you're doing really good <clears throat> and then we repeat the process so our goal here is to get a lot of threads that scaffold through the skin to get, provide support and kind of lift this area because she is sagging now if she does really well we can build on the threads over time. Bear with me a little. So as it snakes through the tissue, you just have to make sure at a good depth. There we go. Okay. You can see sliding right through. find this is more nerve-wracking than it is painful. People are just scared of this. And so we're moving our way through, finding our, our points that we had marked. Okay. And snaking it right through the tissue, perfect. Okay, so now if you guys want to go live, we'll do it on this one, which is the easiest one to do. You're done with this one and one more. <clears throat> Are you okay? Because yeah. you look like you're going to cry. No, I'm good. <laughs> you're almost done with this leg. No, I'm good. No, it's okay. Hey, guys, it's Dr. Emmer, um, and it's Great Monday in the office. of one of my favorite patients here, and we're working on tightening the lower legs, and I think it's really great that she's actually showing this to everybody because so many women have they work out they exercise and no matter what they do having kids having genetics hormone changes the skin gets thinner and you notice it in the elbows and the knees very frequently i know everyone's focused on the face but when you look off the face everyone talks about sagging elsewhere so one of the treatments you can do besides um, removal of skin or external skin tightening is actually threading, which is a more common thing to do outside the United States than in the United States, but we're one of the pioneers here. So we're using um, uh, threads that are made of a sugar-based material that dissolve into the skin and build collagen. If they're done right, there really shouldn't be many complications and it can be a building process to lifting the tissue. So we're starting out by creating an insertion point in the skin, and we use these little baby needles to kind of tease our way through the tissue and you could see I'm going right through the tissue okay. and I always tell patients you probably will feel a little bit Turn your knee out just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Probably will feel a little bit as we tease our way through. Doing the best I can for her. Okay, we thread through the tissue. And you can see that go right through the tissue there.
So how does it, how does this specifically lift? So there's little cones on the inside of these threads and the cones will adhere to the undersurface of the skin and push that area up, almost done. And once that area gets pushed up, it then adheres and stays there for one to two years. But the thing about these threads is they are made of a sugar that builds collagen in that place. So they will, again, build a fibrous track there Good. I want to do one more over here actually for her. Do an extra thread. Can you give me a little more numbing? Hold on. Do you have one more little numbing? Yeah, what type of numbing are you using? We just do a little local numbing here. So I'm going to do one more little bit. You may or may not feel a little off to this side here. I'm just going to do a little bit extra to the lateral part. We're going to do a little extra thread to the lateral part of her knee. there and that's just a little local numbing with lidocaine and then so we're gonna do kind of close to the previous thread there we go good I'm gonna do one more Let me show the camera what that looks like yeah and if you take a look here you can see the little cones you were talking about how it lifts so these cones will adhere to the tissue and pull the tissue upward, and then the rest of this will all dissolve into the skin producing collagen. So this is more of artistic, it's a combination of art and science. Anyone that kind of was that type of person, artistic and nerdy, will love doing this. Sorry honey, there's one little pinch here. There, you got through it. It's much easier than doing uh, full nerve blocks to the whole area because otherwise that gets very swollen. This, good. Perfect, one more to go. And what is the downtime for this procedure? Well, I always tell people somewhere between three and seven days um, outside of the gym, just taking it easy. Um, but in general, there's very little bruising and swelling. It's just you know, letting these adhere properly to, to the tissue. Um, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Good, hold on, almost there. So we gotta snake this through. There we go, right there. Last one. I'm gonna move this way a little bit, guys. I'm gonna direct the thread where I want it to go, which is right there. Good. Sorry, hon. I gotta get this to pop out. Thank you. Go ahead. Perfect. Sorry, the skin is very thin, so we have to manipulate it. We've got it through. This is the end of this leg. Great, so that's the end of the leg. So let me just show you guys where we are. So sticking out of here are the little whiskers and we did a little bit, I did an extra thread on this lateral portion to get more lifting there and then we did threads in the midline. So a total of five uh, multiple cone threads here. We're now gonna do the other side and then we'll see the immediate lifting. But what you can tell is, I'll show you here, you can see it's adhering to the tissue. Does this feel weird to you when I do this? No. Do you feel that at all? A little. So, so it's kind of cool. You don't really feel it that much. And then immediately it will start to dissolve um, and grab on into each of those areas and then tighten the skin like this so it pulls from above and below. So that is uh, knee thread lifting. Stay tuned to see when we tighten in a little bit.